Amen. Thank you, Keegan. You may be seated. Again, we want to welcome our visitors and our neighbors from Elkhart. We appreciate you coming out to tonight's football game. I know that their band is not traveling tonight, so be sure Elkhart fans you over. You're gonna to have to cheer your team on. You're gonna to have to sing the school song. Y'all gonna to have to do it all over there. So it's all up on the fans and the cheerleaders over there for the Elkhart Elks tonight. And at this time, if the Grapevine Sandy Band is ready, we're gonna have the Grapevine School Song. Sandy Band, get ready for the teams to come on the field. We'll have the national anthem, and then after the national anthem, we'll have the coin toss. Get ready for Friday night football right here in Drakeland, Texas. Ready for football, second game of the year, second home game of the year for the Sandy. Thank you. 
All right, at this time, if you would please stand for the playing of our national anthem by the Grapeland Sandy Band. If you're wearing caps, we ask you to remove your caps, men. Getting ready to be at midfield for the coin toss. Captains tonight, or the captain tonight for the Elkhart Elks, number 50, Connor Walker. Captain tonight for the Sandys, number 9, Cooper Sheridan. Also, other captains for the Elks, number 52, Landon Estes, number 9. Wesley Hubert and number 20, number 28, Taylor Stafford. Also captains for the Sandys, Kazion Ashford, number five, B.J. Lamb, and number seven, Michael Dancer. Sandy has won the toss and will receive the opening kickoff. Elkhart Elk will be kicking off and defending the south goal. Sandy's will receive and defend the North goal. Ready up, guys! Back deep for the Sandy's, number three, Kadarian Wiley. Number 11, Amari Wiley. And number eight, Lily Smith. Kicking off for the Elks, number 10, Kale Starr. Play before the game is started. 
delay is called against the Elks. They'll back them up five. Kick it off from the 35. Return. He's hit there first by number 53, Max Lara. Sandys will start first and 10 from their own 27 yard line. Ready? It's time for a victory. The countdown has begun. The DLP teams can play and prove we number one. <laughs> Pass from Lamb complete to number seven, Michael Dancer. Tackle there, Wesley Hubert. Dead ball foul, I guess, against the Sandys to back it up. But it's first and ten at their own forty four. Number three, Kadarian Wiley on the carry tackle in the backfield by number four, Berto. Loss of a yard on the play, bring up second and 11 for the Sandys from their own 43. Hey, watch quarterback, watch quarterback. Here we go, Alcott, you ready? Yeah, 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 go, 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 go. Pass from Lamb intended for number four. Ferguson is falls incomplete. It's going to bring up third down and 11 to the Sandys. Back to pump to the Sandys, number one, Kazayan Ashford, back deep. Number four, Berto for the Yelp. Come on, Jay! Cardinal 21, where they'll start first and 10.
Chase Walker, tackle there by number nine. Cooper Sheridan for the Sandys. Picked up about seven yards on the play. We'll call it second and three. For the Elk, ball on their own 28. Check that to 26. Six yards on the play, second and four. Ball on the 18 yard line of the Sandy. For the Sandys, there is a flag on the play. Offside is going to be the call against the Sandys. Yeah. It's going to be a five-yard mark off against the Sandys. And that's going to bring up the first down for the Elkhart Elks. Elkhart Elks will set up first and ten at the Sandy 14. Keep rolling now. Get up, Elkhart. Let's go. Go out! Go out! Go, 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 cut it up! Cut it up! Oh. Number seven, Josh Davis on the carry. Number one, Kazion Ashford on the tackle for the Sandy. No gain on the play, second and ten for the Elk from the Sandy 14. Come on, Elk. Timeout called by the Elk.
All right, back to play, second and 10 for the Elk. About eight yards on the play, second and two for the Sandys. Ball on their own 36. Number three, Kadarian Wiley on the carry tackle there by number five, Connor Duncan. And number 72, Tyler Stafford. Loss of a couple on the play, bring up third and four for the Sandy from their own 34. Number five, BJ Lamb on the quarterback keeper. Picks up enough yardage for a Sandy first down. Spin your eye, Chase, spin your eye. Number 19, Avery Starr on the tackle of the Elks, but it'll be first and 10, Sandy. Ball on the 49-yard line of the Elks. 
Number three, Kadarian Wiley on the carry for the Sandys, hit first by number five, Connor Duncan. Picked up about three yards on the play. Second and seven for the Sandy. Ball on the 46-yard line of the hill. Number three, Kadarian Wiley on the carry. Hit him in the knee, like he's going to pick up enough yardage for the first down. Run out of bounds for number four, Kyle Berto. First and ten, Sandy. Ball on the 38 yard line of the L. Everybody's back. Calm down. <laughs> go, Looking good, L. Call against the Sandys. Back about five yards. You ready for a pass? Or run. Kelly. Right go, school. Five-yard penalty marked off against the Sandys for false start. It is second down. Second and 15 for the Sandys from the Elk 44. Pass and lamp completion number one, Kazion Ashford. Tackle there by number two, Lana Thomas, and number... Sandys. Oh, 
Hand out to number three, Kadarian Wiley. Picks up good yardage up the middle. Going to bring up by fourth and one for the Sandys. Ball on the 29-yard line of the Elks. Several Elks in on that tackle. Fourth down and one for the Sandy. Well, the pass is incomplete. There's a flag on the play in the secondary, and there's also a play at the line of scrimmage, uh, a flag at the line of scrimmage. So we'll see if the officials get this sorted out. Offside is going to be a call. They're going to decline that one. Pass interference is going to be accepted. So it'll be. First and 10, Sandy's after the penalty yardage is marked off for interference. Be first and 10, Sandy's from the 14 yard line of the Elks. Go stop now, Elks! Go stop, Hand off to number three, Kadarian Wiley. Number 57, Chase Frazier. First elk there to hit him. Pick up of a couple of yards. Bring up second and eight for the Sandys. Ball on the third. Let's call it the 12. Keep it up, Alex. Good job. Good job. Pass from Lel completes to number one because Ion Asher and he's in for the Sandy touchdown. Sandy's lined up to go for the point after. Five, B.J. Lamb on the quarterback keeper. Does not get in for the two-point conversion. Tackle there by number five, Connor Duncan. Elkhart lead the Sandy 7 to 6 with two minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Number 11, Richard Carrillo, kicking off for the Sandy's number one, Kazion Ashford. 
55 Wyatt Lewis for the Sandy. There is a flag on the play. Holding is going to be the call against the Elks. Be a 10 yard penalty marked off. Come on, Elks! Penalty marked off against the L for holding. Go red, go white, go red, go white, E. HS. One, two. Out, go white. They'll start first and ten at their own 17 yard line. This time, officials are taking the teams off the field for a lightning delay. You go all right. You go ahead, Joe. Tell them, school. All right, fans, if you are leaving the stands, please follow the yellow arrows. If you are leaving the stands, please follow the yellow arrows. Thank you. About face. Can you feel it? Woo! That helps our spirit. Woo! Shake to the left, roll to the right, and feel it.
you know that we are in a lightning delay. That lightning delay started with a 30 minute countdown. The 30 minute countdown will, if it goes all the way through, we will resume playing the football game. If we have another strike before that 30 minutes is up, the clock starts again on the 30 minutes. So that's what we're up against tonight. If we don't get another lightning strike, in this first 30 minutes, we'll get started, seems like somewhere around 8.30. We'll resume the football game. Sorry, I can't get down that way. We're going to have to get down that way. Thank you. 